If you are struggling to upload files to Cricut Design Space because they're too large, then watch this quick fix. Now this seems quite a new problem for us in Cricut Design Space and it's when you upload your files and the files say they're too large to cut and there's a reason for that. This has been a new thing for me as a designer but when I upload my files I was making them all to a certain size and all of a sudden they started to be really low quality and really pixelated around the edges in Cricut Design Space. Now I design my files in Illustrator so there's no reason for that, they're pixel perfect but as soon as you uploaded them to Design Space, they looked poor quality and they looked all jagged, which would put people off using them. I, and obviously many other designers, because I've seen this in lots of different Facebook groups, as a result, I have upsized my files. So that means that they're bigger. The great thing about this is if you want to cut them larger, it's easier. The files will go much larger. However, what that means is when you upload them to Design Space, Design Space almost drags. And I'm gonna show you now in design space what happens and how you remedy it and it's really quick it takes minutes to remedy it and then you can use your files you upload the same as you always have before so i'm going to upload an image from cricut design space images and take note of the top bar you can see that it's still got the 12 inches alignment and as you upload the image it stays the same and that is what has always happened before with files but now creators are making their files bigger and i don't know what it is that's happened but now as i upload mine so i'm sure many others and i can see in all the facebook groups that people are saying help why are files so big because when you upload your own files, because we're having to make them bigger, or because I'm definitely having to make them bigger, so others must be. And I'm going to show you how, when you upload my happy birthday letter, what happens. It's huge. I'm going to get rid of that, and you can see that you can still see a 12, but as I adjust design space to fit my letter C in, and this is what people are doing, you can see in the right-hand bar, it's saying it's big. The image is too big. And I think what a lot of people are doing, because I've made the mistake of doing this myself, is if you use your fingers on your trackpad or your mouse to scroll design space in, you make it so it fits your screen. But look, it's still too big. And if you look at the top bar now, we're up to 32. So that's huge, 32 inches, where you really only want to be seeing 12 on the top of your mat. Now, once you grab the corner of your image and drag it smaller, that warning bar goes away. But then obviously still, you've got, a massive area on your design space canvas so this is something you've got to toggle two things at the same time you've got to reduce the size of your image just by dragging it smaller on the corner but then also scroll in on your mat so that the top of your mat is 12 that's the size or the top of your canvas is 12 and that's the size of your cutting mat and then you can see what size your image should be and what size you want it to be on your mat because you've got the measurements on the top but this is what I'm finding. If I save that project, so I can save this, and I'm just gonna save it as C. And when I go in and reopen that file, it will open the same size. So that's great. But if I want to go and re-add another letter that I've uploaded to that file, that will then open large again, and that completely skews design space again, so you've got to drag it smaller. So it's actually a really easy fix once you know how, but I know that people have emailed me, there's been people in Facebook groups, and that's how you get around it. That was a really quick fix, wasn't it? And it's, sometimes it's just working and looking at design space and working around it. And it's just about if you've got a mouse dragging or if you've got a keypad using your fingers to, to drag design space back to where you want it. And the aim is you want it to be 12 by 12. The reason you want it to be 12 by 12 is that's the size of your cutting mat. So you can see the size of your project. And when Cricut Design Space goes to like 30 across, obviously, if your cut, your file is still the big size, you, you can't cut it because there's not a mat in the world big enough. It won't fit through the machine. Only 12 by 12 will fit through your machine. What you need to do is make sure the top is 12 by 12 and the side. Then you can see what size your file is and what will fit on your mat. Please do check all my other hints and tips videos. I've got lots of tutorials on how to make files from scratch, how to design. They're all in my YouTube channel. So please do like and subscribe and happy crafting.